So hi, hello and welcome, Microbe Hunter here again. And uh, today I want to show you how I put labels on permanent microscope slides, homemade uh, microscope slides. Uh, if you're also interested in making those, then of course you would like to add some nice labels to them. After all, slides should also look nice <laughs> um, because you're going to keep them for a long time. And uh, today I'm simply going to sh share with you a few of my experiences uh, that I've made over the past couple of years. Well, my first uh, permanent mounts that I made, I labeled uh, them by hand. Uh, you can see it here. I simply bought uh, some stickers uh, and uh, using a ball pen, I wrote uh, the name of the specimen on the sticker. I also always include um, a date. Uh, and uh, what I did is, is that I use also the date or I use the date also as a serial number. Um, so, but in here, in this case, I just show you, uh, I just put on the year. Um, however, I found out that this does not always work well uh, because when the, the slide is a little bit greasy, then the sticker wouldn't uh, quite uh, hold quite well. Uh, these are three ticks slides with uh, a tick each. Well, these ticks uh, I wanted uh, to, to label and because they have a frosted edge, uh, it's possible to directly label the slides as well. Now, this does not quite look uh, quite as nice, uh, but you can use pencil or also a permanent uh, marker and uh, this way of labeling the slides is actually pretty good if you just want to have a temporary um, yeah, way of labeling it. It actually does not even smear. Um, if you want to use the system I would suggest that you put um, a taper over it simply also to protect the writing a little bit more. Yeah and it can be removed and the permanent uh, marker has to be removed with a little bit of alcohol and uh, then it's as clean as it was before. Yeah but I think that it's uh, not quite as nice um, as having uh, paper labeled slides um, and I'm going to show you now how I've done that um, and I'm using PowerPoint to, to do this. As a matter of fact PowerPoint is I think a very powerful program. I first adjust the page size to A4 because that's uh, what I'm what I have in the printer and I draw a rectangle. Um, you, I insert a shape uh, and uh, I draw a rectangle and then adjust the size of this rectangle so form, format shape to make the menu on the side appear two by two centimeters. Um, and uh, yeah, that's simply my standard that I'm using. I have to zoom in a little bit. I remove the fill, no fill, uh, the border is black. And then I insert um, a text box. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just making a, a template uh, where I can later on then replace uh, everything, uh, the, the text. I use Arial Narrow um, as a font because uh, the letters are narrow and therefore I'm able to fill in a lot of uh, text uh, yeah, in a short, in a small space. And so the name, then the date, just is just a placeholder date. Yeah, maybe it's better to spell out uh, the month so that you do not confuse month uh, and and day. And uh, usually I also add a description, which is uh, which I don't have in bold. Yeah, everything is now simply uh, aligned a little bit because I'm going to then copy paste everything several times because I of course want to have many uh, many of these labels on one page. And uh, then um, it's possible to uh, to simply yeah, replace the text, um, whatever you want to have in here. Usually also include a Latin name, <laughs> italicized. Whole amount. I usually also include uh, the mounting medium. In this case, it was Uperol, and a change uh, the date. Yeah. And, and that's uh, that's pretty much it. Um, you can also uh, add a logo here. So if you want to include a label on the left and on the right side, uh, that's also possible. So essentially that's the time when you can be creative. Now here, this is a larger uh, slide label. Here I include the serial number for, for my slide, which is uh, written in, um, yeah, which is a date and then a running number. Yeah, and if you uh, design your slides in such, such a way that you can also use the larger slide label, so uh, why not? Yeah, you just have to make sure that uh, the specimen is not uh, quite in the center, but maybe off to the side. But for right now, I'm just going to use the square ones. Yeah. Um, I used uh, a glue stick, or at least uh, at the beginning, I tried to use a glue stick, but you have to use a lot of glue. My first try did not really work well, and it did not stick very well. Um, but I also tried this with a white glue, which is uh, this wood glue. This also works well, but see, if you don't have enough uh, glue, then it's not going to stick. Yeah. Um, so I simply took a little bit of the glue stick and, and directly, um, and generously yeah, put it on, on the label, and this was fine. As you see, the, the larger label just barely um, is able to fit on here, but the two smaller ones, left and right, here we go. Okay, and then you have to basically let it dry, and, and that's pretty much it. Yeah? So um, that's a, a, a suggestion that I have. Uh, it's a quite a simple and straightforward way of, of, of labeling, uh, labeling the slides. 
Okay, so that's it. Uh, leave your comments behind. Uh, please also consider subscribing to the channel if you like these type of videos. Happy microbe hunting as always and see you around next time. Bye bye.